Hey guys, it's Garrett from Garrett Outdoors. Today I have a tagged video. It was tagged by Jeep Things. So stick around and check it out. All right guys, like I said, I was tagged by Jeep Things. Please make sure you go over and check out his channel. Uh, he really knows what he's talking about and just way more than I do about the, the Jeeps and all that off-roading and things like that. I have no idea, he's miles ahead of me. So it's fun to watch his videos, but make sure you go over and check him out. I'm gonna try and keep this video kind of short. Uh, there's a lot of content to cover, so I'm going to try to go through each one quickly. But basically, uh, it's three channels that influence you, three things I'm good at, three things I'm excited about, three things I do to relax, and then I gotta tag some people. So, here we go. Three things, or three channels, rather, that influence me. The Lanky Woodsman. You know, he started a little bit before me, his channel, and I always kind of keep an eye out on what he's doing. And uh, he's very well prepared. He's one of those guys that, you know, kind of does research and learns about what he's doing before he jumps into it. And uh, I admire that about him. I think that's a fantastic quality. I wish I did that more than I do. I do do it to a degree, but I wish I do it more than I do. But always keep an eye out on what he's doing when we talk about ideas, me and him uh, communicate frequently and uh, bounce ideas off each other. And uh, yeah, he's just been a real positive impact on my channel, I think. And I hope I've been able to help him some. Another channel that has influenced me would have to be Country Prepper. Just the way that he communicates and how he's open to you guys and the format of his videos. Um, you really feel like you're talking to a friend. You're not watching a TV show with him. You know, it, it's him. It's Country Prepper, you know, CP Kydex. And uh, I really like that. And I try to bring some of that into my channel here. And then the third channel, it's actually two channels, would be uh, Step One Survival. He does a video every day. And uh, Armed Rogue, she was doing a, a video every day, the 365 Challenge. I think it was called, and uh, that has been an influence and an inspiration. You know, I enjoy making a video every day. Uh, I enjoy the challenge of it. It's fun for me, and uh, it gives me something to really focus on and work towards, and uh, I love it. And uh, I really appreciate those two channels specifically doing that and showing me that it is possible to put out quality content every day. Three things I'm good at, well, I'm a really good driver. Uh, I don't mean to brag with any of these three things, I don't mean to brag, but it's part of the tag, so. I'm a really good driver. I drive a rear-wheel drive van, conversion van, that's got like no weight in the back, and I had bald tires last year, but I'm up here driving in the winter with it. And uh, that wasn't by choice, it was a financial thing, you know, so the prepper in me wanted to go get some uh, studded tires and get something on there like uh what do they call them I can't remember the manufacturer but there's a company that'll outfit these kind of vans with a four-wheel drive system i love the van i wish it had four-wheel drive and i wish i could afford the studded tires but uh that's not how life is so but nonetheless i'm good driver i'm good driving in the winter i'm good driver in the summer uh, Sometimes I do get a little overconfident, and uh, although it hasn't happened in a few years, I used to get a lot of tickets because I'd get caught by cops. But uh, that's calmed down a lot of that uh, boyish tendency to try to speed and go fast has left my system. And I'm more of a defensive driver now than I ever have been in the past. And so I think I'm a good driver, and I think I'm improving every day. I think I'm a good father. I work hard to try to raise my children properly and I work hard to provide for them and um, yeah I just I think I'm a good father and uh, I know I'm not perfect and I try to do the best I can and when I make a mistake I try to correct that mistake so I feel like I'm I'm teaching them what they need to know and I am guiding them in the manner that suits them best individually. You know, every child is different, and I've noticed with my five daughters that no child is the same. They're all very unique in their own special way. But uh, anyways, the number three, third thing I'm good at. <sighs> oh, man, that's a tough one. 
I'm kind of, uh, uh, oh, I'm good at computers. I'm really good at computers. Um, I, for almost a decade, I worked in the IT business. And so I'm pretty knowledgeable and comfortable with technology in general, but specifically computers and networks and equipment, uh, like printers and scanners and such. Other peripherals. <clears throat> All right, three things I'm excited about. I'm excited about the Eclipse coming up. Man, that should be awesome. I've been wanting to see one. I always was uh, really obsessed with the stars and stuff like that as a kid. I had my parents paint my room black and then put up stars and constellations on my ceiling. Uh, I got a telescope. You know, I used to have all these star charts and everything. So I'm really excited about this eclipse coming up, and I wish I could travel to see the full effect of the eclipse. Um, but maybe I'll do that in the next one that comes, which would be, what, 2025? But anyways, I'm really excited about the eclipse. I'm excited about my kids starting back to school. Uh, my one daughter is going into middle school. My other daughter is going into first grade. My other daughter is going to be in the final year of elementary school. So really excited about that we're getting school papers and we have orientation coming up so that's exciting and third thing I'm excited about is my my wife she's really been um, what's the word I don't know she's been excelling she's been doing awesome as far as her career and everything and um, I was re actually really uh, impressed with how well that's been going for her and it makes me very happy for her and uh, you know she's tossing around the idea that things have been going so well for her individually you know maybe starting her own business and so I'm 100% behind that I'm excited about that prospect and uh, you know I hope I hope she does that would be awesome I really do three things I do to relax um, I like taking baths I like going and sitting in the bathtub. My muscles are sore after a long day. Uh, and I like taking a bath. Really do. I like listening to music. I really enjoy listening to music. I put my earbuds in and I uh, listen to music and uh, I just zone out and go into my own little world and the world around me disappears. Um, and I watch, I watch football. I watch other sports occasionally, but I really get into football. Uh, the New York Giants is my favorite football team by far. I also like the Kansas City Chiefs. But when the New York Giants are on, I'm watching it, and that's like, I'm locked into it. And I've been trying to get my daughters into it. Sometimes I'll talk them into sitting and watching part of the game with me. I got them their own jerseys and everything, so that's really cool. Okay. I think that covers the three things. Now I need to tag five people. I'm going to tag the Lanky Woodsman. Um, I've only ever did one tag video before, and then I felt bad because I didn't tag him in it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to tag the Lanky Woodsman. I'm going to tag Panhandle Prepper. I'm going to tag Nicole Lake Erie Prepper. I will tag Tack Hill. And I will tag Prepper Dell. So Lanky Woodsman, he's got some really cool videos. He has a lot of great knife reviews, uh, but I know he's been focusing a lot on some other things as well and branching out. And me and him actually have uh, the beard challenge going on and got some other things in the works, so keep an eye out for that. Um, Panhandle Prepper, the guy is very well prepared. This man, he is uh, awesomely prepared and... I like how he thinks, I like how he operates, I like his preps. Um, in fact, I mentioned in another video, I was looking back at some of his uh, earlier videos, getting ideas and using him for inspiration on how I could improve my preps. So definitely want to take a look at him. Nicole Lake Erie Prepper, you know, I love watching her videos. I like watching her uh, haul videos where she goes to the store and buys new stuff. It's exciting to see her getting new preps and uh, she's recently went out and gone fatwood hunting and uh, things like that which I gotta write that down because I want to do that too. But <laughs> those were fun videos to watch. I really enjoy that and uh, I like her perspective on things. So take a look at her channel. Um, she's got some really cool stuff on there. 
Tack Hill, everybody around here probably knows uh, Tack Hill. You know, he's kind of uh, like a pillar of the community, I would say. He, uh, he's, um, he's very generous, and he's a fun guy to watch, and um, very talented in his uh, craftsmanship and the things that he do. Uh, with as far as uh, uh, like the paracord things and watching uh, the leather work he's been doing and um, I still can't get the, the one video I watched his I think it might have been the very first video I watched him with the scorpion flashlight out watch, looking at scorpions gives me chills I'm glad we don't really have scorpions around here but man he is fun to watch and uh, I, I encourage all you guys if you happen to have not have heard or watched his videos before, please go over and check out his channel. And uh, then last uh, is going to be Prepper Dell. Prepper Dell, awesome guy, fun videos. I love his his videos on the kits, and uh, he was doing the thing with the survival knife setup. Um, and uh, it's always awesome getting some perspective too from somebody who lives. Uh, in a country or a different part of the world than you do, you know, and so I enjoy his uh, perspective and thoughts on things. So, guys, definitely check out those five channels. Keep an eye out for them. To you five channels, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Uh, I would certainly appreciate it if you did, but if you don't want to do it, there, there's no pressure to complete the tag. Um, I honestly don't know I tried to look briefly to see if you guys had done this tag before and I didn't see it on any of your channels. So if you have, oops. <laughs> um, anyways, you guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the, the tag video. I hope you uh, enjoyed the opportunity to learn a little bit more about me. I'm certainly enjoying sharing with you guys. So uh, and I enjoy these tag videos. I love tag videos. Anybody watching this, if you got a tag video, tag me in it. <laughs> I love doing these. So, uh, anyways, you guys, I hope you're all having a pleasant day. Make sure, uh, be safe and happy in everything you do. Take care. God bless. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, hit me up in the box below, and, uh, I will catch you all next time.